adding a little spice to my food, you know, it can really bring out the flavors of the ingredients you're using. And here to add some spice to your morning is celebrity <laughs> chef and host of Simply Delicico. No, come on, John. Simply Delicaso. Come on, Simply S Delicioso. Oh, yes. <laughs> Andale, mucho gusto. Chef Ingrid Hoffman, welcome. Say it again. Good morning. You go ahead Simply... and say it for him. Simply Delicioso. Oh, you know, I, love I think it when those you heels it. that you wore this morning have gotten you very confused. <laughs> they have. Definitely. They have. Okay, so now today we're talking about dishes that have a little bit of spice in them. Well, you know, I like using spice not so that you can feel it at the entrance, but you just want to have a layer of depth of flavor. So it's not about making it spice, it's about flavor. Wait a minute, wait, and that's why I've say, got my secret ingredients. When you yes. say not when you feel it on the entrance, so not when it first hits your mouth. You, you should never feel one certain ingredient overpower. I feel like it's like if, a depth to it's, it. If, yeah. if you're just going to do spice, then you can't taste all the great flavors that we're going to part. So we're going to be cool. making drunken fajitas. I like it already. And you heard me correct. <laughs> so wait, we're going to get to the drunken part. We're going to start with some flank steak, a yes. little bit of oil. Flank we're going to build a marinade. Perfect. And okay. we're going to use a little bit of acidity to break down the tissue and get it tenderized. So Is that that's lemon? Lime oh, or lemon, some mm -hmm. oil. OJ, a little bit of red wine vinegar. Okay. Nice garlic. Garlic, yeah. that's going to do it. And here come my two secret ingredients, okay. my Cholula chili sauce. Right, which you're a paid spokesperson for. I me. am. And this is awesome because you know what, you it's talk about flavor. that heat, but it's not overwhelming. No, actually it's probably one of the mildest uh, hot sauces out there, mm -hmm. but it's got tons of flavor from yeah. the chiles, the spices and the herbs, and zero calories. That Whoa. works for me. I like that. I like that. Tequila. Okay. And the tequila is oh. just in the marinade. Wait, it's this gonna, is tequila? That was tequila. That was tequila. Oh, John, John, here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, John. Oh, I was thinking of you guys. Oh, thank That's you. some tequila. Please it is, go it's ahead. Friday we need somewhere. it. It is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so, orange zest. Orange zest. A little bit of brown sugar, just a teeny bit. Okay. Some pepper. As you see, one of the tips, I am not salting my meat. No. I don't want to extract all the uh, juices out of the meat. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to salt it the minute that I put it on and that's a great tip from the gauchos in Argentina and really? they know how to grill. You don't meat. salt it till when? Right, right before, before you put it on. Oh, really? A little bit of cilantro. I've never heard that before, but that's a great that tip. That is a great tip. And the cilantro just gives it, that's oh my God, that pop. Fit. I love yes. cilantro. I can't live yeah. without Happy it. Happy Friday, John. Just Happy Friday. <laughs> We're going to let this marinate. A little bit of a cold. You can do it an hour. You can do it overnight. i got to ask you a question about the minute. Because with flank steak, I mean, the longer you let it marinate, really, the better it is, right? The better it is. But, you know, even an hour will work. Really? Now. Okay. I've got one patted dry. This one's marinated for a little bit. Another tip, if you're going to do indoor grilling, do not oil your entire grill. Why you is will that? smoke up the place. Uh, Remember that my marinade had oil, so my yeah. meat is not going to stick. Gotcha. So here we go. What, what would you would you put anything on the grill like a pan or anything I'd like that? I rather oil the food. That's why she my veggies. Yes. Remember huh. that I put oil yeah, yeah, yeah. in there? You oil them, not... My veggies are already oiled. I put some um, spices on it, and we're just going to do this simultaneously. It's a little bit of a one-pot meal. Right. And now all we need to do is we've got some steak ready to go. We're going to build some fajitas. Fantastic. Let's build them. Ready to eat. Out. I'll get to work, John. You okay. Just keep so it. you can just, <laughs> okay. I'll help you with this. Thank and you, you can just much. stuff the fajitas so, to your heart's content. Oh my gosh, great. So let me just grab a couple of these. And, you know, nice veggies for flavor, for color. But is there a, a method to the madness? Do you put the meat first, the veggies first, or does no. it not even matter? You know what I actually do at home when I'm lazy? I put it in the broiler all in a pan, all together. Oh, that's I don't smart. need to man it. High heat, keep it six inches from the grill, and you have a delicious, easy recipe. That's super smart. I'm so glad I'm not going to make out with anybody because I'm going to add extra onions. You, you love okay. the cilantro. You can <laughs> add some avocado. Oh, lovely. You know, all of these wonderful recipes are are on your website and we have a really fun easy to do oh, dip this our dip. chosen dip. crab dip. and we've got a cholula hummus which is absolutely hummus. delicious hummus. and mm. you can plate it with veggies to make it you know a little bit healthier what are these things again i should Pick know is that that is hikama sticks and hikama, mango hikama. sticks. Yeah. And those are good. And you can do it with celery. You can do it with Don't carrots. It in there. This way it. you can have a healthier okay. Cinco de Mayo and save your calories for well, this baby right well, look here. Look at big girl over here is going to take a bite of wow. the fajita. Hold on, let's see. Well, okay, whatever this dip is, so the hummus. What is this? That it's is the, the hummus. Mm. It's delicious, mm. right? 
So here I'm gonna make some oh more fajitas. Who's hungry? This is really good, Ingrid. <laughs> mm. I came to give you some love, and it's wonderful. You know, all of May we can celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Of it course. doesn't need to be Cinco. Mucho it can gusto. be all all month long. How hard are the, how hard are these dips to make? Well, if it's me, you should know that everything I do is super easy. My attention span is like <laughs> one of an Esker go. So my <laughs> recipes are designed for people like myself. Just really fast and easy. That's probably got just three ingredients in it. I wow. have to okay, tell you, who's the ready flavor. for some fajitas? I'll take one. In this you fajita, want one, put some you avocado in yours. Mm -hmm. My only no, wish, and here's, me. may I say this? Mm. I only wish that you had more Cholula so I can top it off with a little bit there because that's my favorite. I've so. got plenty from where those come from, so I'll leave you some bottles. And Thank good, you. Great weather to grow outside today. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Yep. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks, Ingrid. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank happy you for joining us on you, everyone. And happy happy Cinco de Mayo. Yes, and thank you for giving us those recipes. You can check out WLNYTV.com slash the couch, and that does it for us today. Everybody, have a great weekend. John's eating. Jill's eating. Oh, so Ingrid much. is serving it up, so. Is going to. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you again on Monday, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. Take care. This is all great.